Miracle is just two months old. But today she's going on the biggest journey of her life, moving up the lane with her mum, Flower, to graze in a neighbour's field for the summer. Her owners, Tim and Fiona Start, went on their own epic journey ten years ago that led them to settle here, deep in the Herefordshire countryside. Well, we used to live in Bristol. Um, I used to be a teacher. My wife uh, is a social worker. And we got rather fed up with that sort of um, way of living. We sold our house. Uh, we went off around the world. We, we were on a tandem bicycle. We cycled all the way across the United States and then went down to Australia and so on. And we spent a year abroad just basically thinking what sort of life we'd like to live. Today they are modern day Tom and Barbaras, chasing bees, raising cattle, growing their own veg. Tim has even built a hut down by the stream. But at the heart of their good life is the energy they generate. I love the feeling of being self-sufficient. I think anybody who lives in a Western country has had their share of fossil fuels. You know, you, you cannot justify using them anymore and therefore it makes me feel um, slightly better in my conscience that uh, I'm having energy which is just falling on my house. Tim and Fiona decided to generate their own energy in 2005. Things got off to a good start. They didn't need planning permission to have solar panels on their roof. Next was funding, but Tim and Fiona secured an £8,000 grant to cover over half their costs. The final hurdle was finding the right installer. Juliet Davenport is the chief executive of Good Energy. She says the most reliable installers can be easily found online. Well, there's various different websites, but probably the best one is the Energy Saving Trust website. That's where all the accredited installers are listed. And if you're applying for a grant, then you'll need to use an accredited installer anyhow. Um, that gives you a whole list. And probably best is to choose maybe two or three people if you can get some personal recommendation that somebody's done it before or somebody you know who's done it before, talk to them as well. Always good to get a word of mouth recommendation. And then get all three to come and give you a quote. After going through this process, Tim and Fiona employed a local installer who came highly recommended. Di Reese has a checklist to run through for people thinking about solar panels. Well, obviously there's the orientation of the house, there's the practical elements like you know, which way the house is facing how much electricity you use, um, how you use your electricity, whether you use hot water, because often hot water is a better um, option. It's generally more cost effective, um, often seen as the first choice um, when you're doing renewables. Um, Tim decided he wanted the PV um, over and above the hot water. Some people like the idea of just generating their own electricity. It's quite an exciting concept. It's usually a two-day job. I think so, the weather, it has to be dry for them to put the panels on the roof. So it was a bit, of a, it was a bit wet and um, mm. I was concerned in case they fell off or stuff. But, uh, but even so, it's, it's not like you're having a building extension or something which goes on for months. It's a, it's a very swift job usually. The three kilowatt solar panels generate around 3,100 kilowatt hours of electricity a year. Exactly what Tim and Fiona use. That's really good. Yeah, and if you time it so that you um, come online in spring or early summer, you know, your ideally place because then you feel like you're really cashing in. There are so many things that we're doing that are not very helpful that we can't avoid, like driving and like buying things that come with plastic whether you want it or not. Um, so this is one thing that you can do and, and that feels good. People aren't going to be aware of what the energy they use unless it's in their face, you know. Mm. Obviously things use energy on standby, but when you actually put in a little energy meter and you measure what your TV, your hi-fi, it's not like one watt, it's maybe 10 watts or 20 watts over a year, that's 100 kilowatt hours. Now we generate, in December, we only generated about 60 kilowatt hours off the whole system. So, you know, it puts it into perspective. If I ask anybody how much petrol their car uses, or how far is it to walk to a certain distance if they're used to walking, people know those quantities very, very well. If you ask somebody how, much, how many kilowatt hours does your home use every year, they haven't got a clue. And I think this is, this is again about our distancing from, from our energy use. And by metering it, and even by generating yourself, you become much, much closer to it. And we've seen, just by people switching to good energy, just by buying our, the electricity from a renewable source, people have really started to look at how much energy they're using. And it's been brilliant. We've seen a significant reduction in our customer usage per customer 
um, comparison to the national average. And I think that's fantastic. I think we need to switch to where we've got, we're actually generating our power from and reduce the amount of power we really need. And then the future is much easier in terms of providing it all from renewable energy. Miracle and Flower are safely in the field. And here in Hereford, with the sun beating down on the panels, for Fiona, Tim and Friska the dog, life is good.